What's going on guys? So before we start, I just want to point out something here. I'm going to be unboxing the uh, CDW model of this HP Color Jet. Now there is also an FDW model as well. Um, they are literally the same printer. It's just the packaging is different. Yeah, they use the same ink, they fax, they do two side printing. Yeah, they do everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's literally the exact same printer. And so just an FYI on that, when I was buying this, um, I was wondering what is the difference uh, and there, there aren't any. It's just that one comes from uh, one manufacturer and the other one comes from another. And they just did a whole different like printout and look. I mean, as you can see right here, the picture is different right there. This one even says it include a 30 sheet brochure paper, which I honestly, I don't know if you care about that or not, but yeah, if you find one that is a lower price than the other, go ahead and pick it up because they're exactly the same printer. All right, so anyway, let's get into our unboxing and review. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to a uh, brand new episode. So today I got me an HP LaserJet Pro. So if you're looking at this, you know that these are toner printer. They're not inkjet printer. They are laser. And what essentially what that means is that, by the way, if, if you're looking at this and you're like, okay, should I, should I really spend the money on this or not? Um, what I have found out is that with toner, it can, you can leave it there for like a year or two. So if you don't print very much and it's, the ink is just sitting there, it's not gonna dry up, it's not gonna clog up and that kind of stuff, which I've had that happen to me just recently with my inkjet printer uh, where it clogs up because I haven't print anything other than, you know, Amazon return stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that, that I print out of. So anyway, it, it clogged up and I had to like do a maintenance. I had to spend like half an hour just to figure out like, okay, what's going on here and do cleaning on it before I can print one sheet of paper for me to return stuff. Anyway, so that's why this laser printer is important to me right now um, so that I can just pretty much leave it there, only print one page per year and uh, the ink won't dry up. Yeah, so that's, that's the main reason why you would wanna get this one right here. Anyway. So I looked around, this one right here is the middle of the line, it's not the top of the line. Let me go ahead and unbox that. My main goal when I was looking at this, by the way, was that it print two sides and it has the document feeder. I didn't realize that those weren't included in like the lower end. It, it, uh, it's, it kind of baffles me that that's not really the standard in every single printer. So look out for that if that's important to you, where is, there's a document feeder, which is what they call the ADF. Um, look out for that one. Uh, some of the lower end ones don't have it, okay? And printing two sides, I didn't realize you can't print two sides on some of the lower end ones either, which blows my mind. Anyway, this is the, this is the one that actually does everything that I wanted and still kept the price um, manageable. Okay, so let's see what we got here instruction booklet. Uh, this is the, uh, I believe, 30 page uh, brochure printer or something, uh, something like that. These, but it's basically paper. So the kind of cords that it comes with is, um, okay, it's, it's just regular USB-A cords. A phone line. Oh yeah, that's right. This one has fax. If you care about fax, there's a phone line that attached to it, which if you still have a landline, we got to talk. And, okay, and a power cord. This is not the regular, like, computer power cord that you usually see, by the way. So FYI on that one. It uh, looks like it's very specific to this printer. Oh, wow, okay, so um, <laughs> I didn't realize, but this thing is actually a lot smaller than I uh, imagined it online. You know, that's funny, right? I mean, you see pictures and stuff like that online, but you didn't realize how small it is in person. This is pretty small. All right, so this is what's important to me right here. This is the document feeder right here. You have, you have to go up a couple of models in order to get this document feeder right here, which is important to me because I want to throw a bunch of paper in there and then it just prints out or make copies and stuff like that, okay? Um, let's see here, okay, so this opens up so that you can get access to the paper that's here. 
that's coming out of here. What else here? Okay, so this right here pops up so that the paper would stop right there so it doesn't spit out. This one right here has a little hinge where it pops up pretty nicely. It actually stays up also, which for some reason my other printer did not have that where it stays up, which is pretty annoying. I'm assuming this is where the toner is. Yeah, that looks like it right there. I'm not gonna touch that because it's already pre-installed. Why mess with it, right? Here's number two. Paper. This is where you put all the paper in, okay? This is, this is where the paper comes out right here and it has this little kick stand right here. I'm surprised it doesn't come out more, you know? So turn around to the back right here. I see there are two foam ports right here. This one right here, you plug from here to your wall. And then if you have a, a phone or some sort, you plug it into here. Yeah, uh, if you guys have never used uh, the fax machine before, that's how we used to do it, guys. <laughs> Ethernet ports right here, which is what I'm gonna be primarily using. Uh, also, there's Wi-Fi functionality on here as well. But today we're gonna test out the Wi-Fi functionality instead of the Ethernet port, okay? And here's, this is what the USB port is right here. And in, in case you wanna plug um, your computer into this, directly into this thing, you can do that. And on the back right here, uh, honestly, I probably wouldn't mess with the back right here for right now because this is where you know you, you un, unclog all your paper jam and stuff like that. But look, pretty intricate. By the way, guys, the reason why I got an HP versus like some other brand that's laser, um, my wife, she says, gotta get HP, it's the best of the best because she been using that, this one printer at work for probably 10, 15 years. So she said, just get it, it will be worth the money, she said. Okay, so my first Attempt is to print out a picture of a comet. So let's see if it uh, how it looks. Okay. So I have connected this printer to my Wi-Fi network, and so what I'm doing right now is I'm selecting. As you can see right here, it's it shows up right away as soon as I connect that. So on here, what I've done is I've set the uh, best print quality just to see how it is for right now. It may take a little bit longer to print. So let's go ahead and do that. That's all that I've set right here. This is the only setting that I've set. But I have for it. Wow, that's really fast. I was waiting for it. I mean, I was gonna go grab my cup of coffee, but that printed really fast. Wait, okay, so let's, let's do that again here. I wanna sit here and I wanna see here. I wanna print. Again, guys, I've selected best quality for this one, okay? So right here, I wanna, I wanna select best quality and then I wanna say print. That was really, really fast compared to my other printer, of course, which is an inkjet. Okay, let's see how fast this is now. So the printing start right now. Now you have to think about this here, okay? Um, it took longer for it to like warm up than it is to actually print a piece of paper. That was really fast. I'm very surprised at this. And look at this. Um, this, this image right here is very complex. If you look at this, there's a lot of gradient right here. See that? It's a lot of gradient right here. It's, it's, not, it's not something where it's easy to print, okay? Very consistent, and it's not wet. 
it's not wet at all like inkjet. If you do this on inkjet, you would definitely, I mean, the whole paper would have been soaked if you did this on an inkjet. Very impressive, very impressive so far. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to time this and I want to try to print 30 pages of PDF and see if it works, okay? Okay, so I'm about to print about 28 pages, not 30 pages, because two of the pages are blank, so it's not really fair to say that it's printing, right? So about 28 pages worth, all right? So I'm going to start the clock and hit print at the same time. Uh, let me make sure that the printer's on. Yeah, the printer's on. So I'm going to hit start timer and print at the same time. So remember, it takes time for it to send it through my uh, router and stuff like that and then talk to the printer. Now the printer starts. So I would say it takes about 10 seconds for it to send through my Wi-Fi. Oh, it looks like it's printing back and front. I didn't, I didn't realize I had that setting on. Yeah, it's printing back and front. Oh well, good, saving paper. I'm very impressed with this thing so far. The color, the uh, contrast looks really good. And this is printed front and back. Oh wow, look at this piece of paper. Let me, let me just grab this one out. Look at this one. The red, the blue, the black looks fantastic. See the quality on that one? That's beautiful. This is probably the best printer that I've had <laughs> ever, ever. Obviously, it's, it's worth the money. Okay, so let me stop because it just stopped. Two minute and 20 second is what's on here, right there. Two minutes and 20 second. It's very high contrast. I actually did not set it to best quality either. This is just the default right here. Two minutes and 20 seconds for about 28 pages. That's real world test right there for you. Once again, if you get the uh, CDW version or the FDW version, it doesn't matter. They're actually the same printer, just different packaging, that's it. So hopefully that helps you when you are looking at this. Uh, but anyhow, that's it for me right there. I hope you guys find this useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.